Welcome back to the Bandits Hideout, the official podcast of the Bancroft Bandits Summer Baseball Team in the Pioneer League. And this is your host, Mitch Kieran. And very sorry it's been a while since uh, we've had a few episodes and some pretty busy times. But we finally have our first look at some of the upcoming talent for the 2020 team for the defending champion Bancroft Bandits. And coming all the way to us tonight from Liberty University is a catcher and infielder for the Flames. It's Garrett Wilkinson. Garrett, thank you very much for taking the time to talk to me this evening, and welcome to The Hideout. Hey, thanks for having me. All right, Garrett. So uh, tonight I kind of just want to uh, pick your brain and uh, just uh, just kind of want to go through your career so uh, we can know what to expect uh, for the upcoming summer in Bancroft. So uh, let's just start from the beginning. You know, tell me how you got your start in baseball and uh, if there were any big leaguers or coaches that you tried to follow or model your game after from a you know a young age. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, growing up in San Antonio, Texas, I mean, I, I was just always kind of around baseball. Um, I played since I was little, never really took a season off. Um, when I got to around probably eighth grade or so, I started to have some really good coaching. Uh, that's when I started to be able to coach, get coached by some ex-professional players and just uh, just starting like a good organization in the city, I guess, and just stick with it. I mean, I played all sports through high school, uh, but baseball is definitely always my passion. And it's just kind of taking me to where I am today. It's all well, perfect. Obviously playing at the D1 level now, but uh, the next step for you was high school, uh, a graduate of Winston Churchill, uh, where you were a three-time all-district team member, uh, including first-team honors as a junior and senior. And you helped lead the team to a district championship as a senior. No, just uh, take us through your high school career. Uh, was the playing level pretty challenging down in San Antonio, like a big city like you mentioned? And uh, do you think that might have gotten you prepared a little bit better for the collegiate level? <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't want to open up the yearbook here. I mean, we always get made fun of for bringing up our high school now, but, <laughs> uh, it was definitely fun. I'm really competitive back home. Um, that six, a Texas baseball was pretty top of the line. I mean, right. we had state champions ship teams every year, so it was pretty fun to play in and just, it definitely built a lot of my competitiveness from the start. Well, fantastic, and obviously that uh, got you prepared uh, for the next level. You uh, started off your collegiate career two years at Midland College, and uh, you know, take it from me, you really tore it up. Uh, this past spring uh, in 2019, you batted 380, had eight home runs, uh, 46 RBIs, and 63 runs scored, and you were named to the uh, Western Junior College Athletic All Conference team. You know, tell us about your time at Midland. Uh, what led you uh, to join that program? Oh yeah, junior college was was uh, definitely my best decision. I felt like I made mm. going out of high school. Um, just overall, I think it's good for all kids. I mean, you get you get more time, you get more exposure. I feel like um, just get more time to develop too. And going out there to Midland really, I wanted to say, just built me to the player I was today. You know, mm-hmm. just a junior college mindset was. Uh, what needed what I needed I felt like at a young age and it was really good for me because um, you know coming out of high school you're still so young so it's hard to compete I feel like at this level now yeah there, I mean there's certainly a, a big level of talent um, at that level too and uh, just from watching uh, a few videos on on, on your uh, hitting, you know, it, it just looks like you know you just keep it so simple in the box. You know, just at this compact swing, you hit for power exceptionally well. Also, got to mention thirteen home runs uh, in your first season of college, so you really sprung onto the scene. Uh, but also, just hitting uh, to all parts of the outfield uh, exceptionally well. You know, just uh, just describe to me what 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 your kind of approach is uh, whenever you step up to the plate. Yeah, I'm just trying to take advantage of every pitch. I mean, early in account and stuff, just getting your full swing off. Um, I, I definitely I changed my swing up going into junior college, which really helped me um, from my senior year to then. But just kind of hitting the ball hard. I mean, seeing your pitch, and then once you get to two strikes, obviously you got to battle. But just trying to get your swing off is probably the best thing that I could say that I've been doing. Um, just really unloading on pitches, too, when you're in – Damage counts, you know, up in the count, just really getting everything you can into it. 
All right, fantastic. And obviously you had a lot of success at Midland, and that led you to uh, Liberty University. And you guys are having a pretty solid start, uh, sitting at eight wins, just five losses, so that's great. And you're an everyday starter, uh, just at, at, at that quick transition, you know, you're really holding your own. Uh, you know, your stats are looking very solid. Uh, and, and, and like I said, it, it overall just looks like a great turnaround for your first season into uh, Division One. You know, just tell us about your time so far as a member of the uh, Liberty Flames. Oh, it's been special, definitely, being a part of this organization and just this team. Um, and just being out here at Liberty has really shown me a lot. Uh, God's kind of just pulled me towards him, too, while I've been here. And I think it's really good for my future. Um, just learning a lot through this coaches, through these through this organization, uh, just the talent that I'm able to play against on the weekdays and weekends, all the pitchers that you're able to face. I mean, it just makes you better. Um, just want to keep working hard and just keep moving in the right direction because you just you just want to you want to do good for these guys now because it's, it's it's family, you know. It's always been, but it's pretty exciting. Yeah, right on, man. And uh, do you have any uh, personal goals uh, while at Liberty or, or any uh, team goals that you guys are sort of building around? Um, I mean, obviously you want to win, but just building a family, you know. Uh, and one thing, I mean, we always hear our coach talk about, I mean, people rem- remember you for how you kind of treat them. Just being a good teammate, just they're not necessarily going to remember you for, you know, your your home runs that you hit. You know, they're going to remember you for how you make them feel. So just uh, making the right choices and being around the right people, spending your time. So I think that's what's been big. Well, awesome, man. And still a lot of baseball left this spring, uh, but you are one of the first players signed to this year's Bandits team. Uh, can you kind of just tell us, you know, how did Coach Kieran uh, kind of – it? convince you to come out and spend your uh, upcoming summer in, in northern Iowa where I'm probably sure you're you're pretty not too familiar with <laughs> well uh he's a good he I would say he's a great recruiter honestly hmm. um he's been talk he has been messaging me on through social media platforms and such uh just growing up kind of through junior college sending me texts all the time and it just never worked out the first two years there I was at junior college to play for him and it finally did and uh what happened was, I mean, we got here and I got signed. Uh, my coach wanted to sign me up to play in the Northwoods, and I really needed to, a chance to work a little bit and make some money this summer. And uh, so he, he, being the good recruiter that Michael is, uh, was able to set up the opportunity to make some money on the side while I'm working. Um, so I'm able to play baseball and work rather than being in the Northwoods playing 80 games. Um, it was just better for my family. And so I think that that was a big part of everything. Um, I've kind of traveled, I feel like, all over now. So I was, I'm excited to take on. <laughs> I've been in Midland, Texas for junior college shows. Pretty small, <laughs> too. But I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited, too. And, uh, and, and you're going to be playing for a, a very special team. You know, This is going to be a lot of talent from all over the country, as it's kind of been uh, the past year as well. Uh, Bandits coming in defending that uh, league championship uh, was was that was there anything Michael kind of like mentioned like uh, maybe you trying to win a championship or or what do you kind of know about the Bancroft community just just from the outside looking in because you know this is kind of a baseball mm-hmm. town you're going to be stepping into so so this is so we're just happy to have you uh, what what are you kind of looking forward to uh, for for this upcoming summer Oh yeah we're we're here to we're here to win and that's basically what Michael was telling me and the mindset that you have coming to this team. I mean, you're here to run, like he said it. I mean, you kind of, we want to run it up on him and give him what we, what we have show him that Bancroft is baseball. <laughs> <laughs> nice man. Well, I like it. And, uh, Garrett, I'm, I'm really looking forward to having you a part of the team this upcoming summer. Uh, is, is there any, uh, is there anything else you want to add uh, for the podcast, anything we didn't touch upon that uh, we should uh, know a little bit better about Garrett Wilkinson? Um, I mean, I, I can't – I can. Uh, I mean, I'm just excited um, for this opportunity for being on here. I've never actually been in a podcast before, so I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> well, perfect, Garrett. Thank you very much for taking the time to join me this evening, and uh, pleasure talking to you, and uh, really looking forward to uh, seeing you put on the purple this summer. Absolutely. You guys take it easy. 
And this was episode number four of the Bandits Hideout, the official podcast of the defending Pioneer League champion Bancroft Bandits. Uh, and this is your play-by-play commentator, Mitch Kieran. I'm going to be trying to get a lot more uh, episodes uh, for some of these newer players so we can get a better look at the roster upcoming this year. Uh, but of course, I'll also try at the same time to get some of the past players that made the 2019 summer so special. Uh, but at the same time, thank you very much for tuning in. And until next time, go Bandits.